What do you do in the evening when you don't know what to do? Read a book, play a game, every night is just the same. What do you say if I tell you how to keep from feeling blue? My advice is good to take and it's easier to do. When you're all alone, any old night, and you're feeling out of tune. Pick up your hat, close up your flat, and get out and get under the moon. Underneath the bright, silvery light, you'll be feeling better soon. Pick up your hat, close up your flat, and get out and get under the moon. Look, look, look at the stars above, look, look, look at those sweeties, love, oh boy, give me a night in June. I mean it all you got to do, any old night, when you're feeling out of tune. Pick up your hat, close up your flat, and get out and get under the moon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sunday Night Haunters Anonymous live chat. How's everyone doing? James is sitting right here. Yes, I am. What's up, man? How's everybody doing? Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say that Dragon splashed down today. Thank you very much. Yeah, it did. It was uh, amazing. Another win for SpaceX and NASA. Uh, they plopped down here in my hometown of Pensacola, Florida, and the uh, astronauts were taking probably about a seven minute drive from my house, the NAS. So, uh, non haunt or Halloween related, but I think it's cool as hell. Um, and hey, everybody. Hey, Ellen. Hey, How Mom. How you doing? Hey, Tiffany. What is up? Hey, Danny, Keith, Vic, Zach, Brian, Tara. Everybody, James just said hello. Tara. <laughs> What's up, Tara? Yay. Uh, so yeah, so uh, that's that's that little bit of tidbit news because that was very exciting. I watched it for about two and a half hours. Super exciting. Uh, what's up, Brian? Hey, Brian, what happened the other day, man? <laughs> I told James you probably had some kids running around, but uh, you know, hopefully you didn't leave because you didn't think you were winning or anything because that's poor. 
Or sportsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> SpaceX completely and utterly rules, Vic. I 3,000% agree. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, it was fantastic seeing the uh, two uh, astronauts finally departing their capsule um, once they made it 100% safe. Not 99.9, .9, but 100%. So. Yeah, we figured it was the kids. We're going to do it again in two weeks, so don't worry. It's going yeah. to be hosted by Ashton, though, so... We get to just sit back and I can do scorekeeping. Oh man, I had a James. I had an idea too. We should we'll put Ashton on here and then put Jabby on there too. Oh god, just spice spice it up a little <laughs> bit. Keith, um, we uh, says I'm surprised Florida doesn't have more alien themed haunts. Yeah, if we did, it would be in Gulf Breeze. Well, that weird ass fiasco. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, Brian. We're gonna have more of them. It was a blast. That's like when you just disappeared. Like I said, we pretty much we knew it was the kids. It's all good. Yeah. I see, Keith. You are in fact still pink. I I don't think that's ever gonna change, buddy. You're, yeah, you're gonna be. You're, you're just be destined pink. for it. <laughs> Forever, unless you change your name. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Um. What else going on? Uh, it is Sunday night. It is hot as hell still in Florida. Uh, All right, now, now everybody remember now, this isn't Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not Sunday. That, yeah, it's Sunday night. Not that it matters much here, but. Um, What's going on with everybody? Yeah. Uh, I just want, in case uh, in case anybody didn't know, uh, very serious business. Um, if you didn't know, Halloween Horror Nights is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Lee was she just in here, too. I don't know. She, she, yeah, she might still she be probably, here. I don't care. She came ride a scooter in the rain without cracking her skull open. She doesn't need to be going to Central Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I did see Universal. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it was actually verified like 100% yet or not, but there was. They had a deal for Florida residents. You buy a day, you get the rest of the year free. So no. Yeah. Pretty, what? Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's just put two masks on and a shield and go ride the Hulk. That's good, Danny. Yeah, we're getting it uh, tomorrow night and then Tuesday. We're going to have it coming right up the uh, coast here. Yeah, I'm glad uh, glad you got spared. Of course, we're still months away from the end of the season. So Yeah, there's like two more out there, isn't there? So Let me, let me, something, let me knock on some wood. There we go. Um, Yep. Uh, which, you know, it's it's one of those things. Uh, here, of course, today, uh, you know, when you're on on this side of the hurricane, uh, you don't get nothing. Like that's why that's why the uh, SpaceX thing went so well today. I mean, it was crystal blue skies, crystal blue water, like glass. Yeah, the Gulf no looked wind. nice. Yeah, it was. You, you wouldn't have known they were so many miles out. I mean, it was like just as flat as it could be. Um, so yeah, today's, I mean, today would have been for anybody that likes going to the beach would have been perfect beach weather. Just so everybody knows tonight's not so much like a, a haunt news or even discussion kind of night Sundays, you know, we, we whatever we do on Sundays, whatever you guys want to talk yeah. about. Sunday is, that's why I, why I said it's the whatever <clears throat> ramble and whatever. <clears throat> chat edition i mean, we will talk haunt stuff uh we well, posted another uh, huh yeah no no I, we're going in the same direction you go ahead and finish what you're saying oh. <laughs> i just say we you know right before we went on we did po uh, post that a home haunt uh won't be opening uh for because of the pandemic uh so hopefully they at least decorate um yeah please go give them a like also and just you know because they're uh they're they're really upset about it this year because it's a home haunt and they're trying to keep in the spirit of things, so yeah, it's it's that Du Bois, uh, the Du Bois uh, post. Um, yeah, I like I just posted it probably ten minutes ago, fifteen minutes ago. So let's go go give those guys a like and let them know. Yeah, Vic. Yeah, Vic we'll... go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. 
I was just agreeing with you on Vic. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. Well, I was gonna say we should share it, too. Yeah, I think we could do a... I, as far as I know, we should be able to do a watch party for them, so it'll play on our page. But if not, we'll just then, share it anyway. Yeah, we'll share a link or, or uh, do a uh, watch party or whatever. Definitely gonna watch it. Um, and for anybody that's not sure, uh, uh, Vic does have a, a YouTube page, uh, Vic Springston. Just look it up on uh, YouTube, just like his name is spelled there. Awesome stuff from the Trio of Terror. Uh, and then if you are not in the Trio of Terror group, go find it and join. He will let you in unless you are jabby. <laughs> Keith, too. <laughs> Keith's uh, the last the one I watched of Keith's doing the um, the bone thing on the armoire. Um, those were freaking sick. They're the door handles on the armoire. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Oh man, Keith. Uh, speaking of, I watched um, the the Big Lots video. Uh, I've been to my Big Lots and I saw that stuff already. But man, the prices this year are really the hell up there for some crap. Uh, I like Big Lots. Big Lots has got some cool stuff, but um, yeah, their their prices their prices are five to eight dollars, something like that, more or five ten dollars more than some of that stuff. So that leads me to believe that it's going to be a small inventory and it's been harder to get from China. Um, China, yeah, stuff China, uh, and then yeah, man, tell your tell your kid you need to train that kid not to touch glitter things. <laughs> man, she was like touching, like ah, I was like yeah, because I don't like glitter either. Uh, everybody knows, no, everybody I know knows I don't like glitter, and yet they will try to kill me with it. I'm gonna send you a glitter bomb. Just opens up and spins out glitter. I would, I would, <laughs> oh my, I'd set the world on fire. Uh, well, Home Depot's got some good, good stuff there, Danny. Yeah, they've got like a gigantic skeleton too that's like $300. Yeah, it's 12 foot tall. Yeah. Which I, I'd be curious as the construction of it. You know, if it was worth three hundred bucks, but just because it's twelve foot tall doesn't mean it's worth three hundred dollars. Yeah, you can take a regular size skeleton and and drape it, and just extend the legs. We don't see them and make it twelve foot tall. Well, Vic, you can have all the glitter, buddy. If you like glitter that much, <laughs> you can have all. Of it. <laughs> the dolls are payback for imposing tariffs on China. You just get Keith to uh, do a commission on one for you. Got it. Got those skills, man. Those bones, man. I love those. Those armoire door handles were freaking awesome. I just want them for everything. <laughs> and so you shall have them. <laughs> Easy enough. Uh, Ellen, um, uh, I, I, all of Home Depot stuff. I've been looking at all their 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 videos they've been putting out. Um, I think James had asked me this question episodes ago, but I, you know, if it's not big lots, I'm probably just because of the pandemic. I'm probably not going to go perusing the stores like I normally do. Um, I mean, I might, I might check out Home Depot uh, when they're they're. Uh, Attendance is low because I do use uh, Google's um, live um, live map for that. But I just I got a lot of stuff here at the house. Oh, did you see that, James? Keith is giving one away. Yeah, I did see that, it. in fact, and I was gonna make a joke. What's up, science? Hey, Brian. I think we talked about this a couple years ago. Remind me, and I will get you tons of graveyard music and sounds. Just remind me, I'm getting old. <laughs> um, I will, I will, even if I have to mail you some stuff, which I have no problem doing, I will get you stuff for this year. I think we talked about it and something <laughs> happened and you didn't do it or whatever, but the, uh, um, yeah. So for the video that Keith, uh, was talking about, he's giving away the bone thing that he did. Um, yeah, you, you gotta go to his. Go find his videos and uh, 
He's, he'll welcome you. <laughs> he he does the best welcoming when he comes back from a cut. He just says, hello, YouTubes. Um, but so he's not offending the, uh, the pronoun people. Which is <clears throat> great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, his, he, d he does have a competition going on. So if you want to get on it, the bone is pretty awesome. Um, I would definitely go get in on that too. Absolutely. Yeah, check out. We need to start really putting out everybody's links uh, to make sure everybody knows they're there. And hey, science, by the way, I know James said hello. I'm going to say hello myself. Um, Brian, uh, yeah, I think we did. Dude, rem just remind me. I I I'll get Google to remind me. Vic um, also we'll needs it. Stuff. Vic needs what? Music, creepy music. Oh, hell yeah. We can got you. I got you covered, Vic. <clears throat> That believe it or not, there's more of that than most people know. So just everybody remind me. Totally getting old. Uh and yes, Keith, you are right. Uh Big Lots has Grandin Road prices. Um by the way, if anybody <clears throat> if anybody can find me the damn hocus pocus Nestle cookie dough, let me know where you've seen it. <laughs> I went today <laughs> looking for it, and I'll be damned if I can't find it. Um Oh, Vic, uh, oh, he said it was a reply. Um, Brian, that's, we encourage it all the time. Might be a year to just be creative and make your own decorations. Absolutely. Um, well, yes, they can keep, you can see the videos on the Haunters Anonymous After Dark group, which I encourage everyone to go and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pin Keith's uh, video for the giveaway. Um, plus, well, we want them to go to your page anyway because we want to get you the views, and uh, it makes sure they're subscribed to you. Um, you know, who I noticed some people met uh, Jim McCrary. Uh, he's kind of ramping up uh, with uh, No Remorse. Oh Cemetery, yeah, which is he's got some good stuff going on right now too. Hey, Aaron, what's up, buddy? Yeah, he's got some really good stuff. Um, I'm glad that he's posting early this year, at, or at all. <laughs> I shouldn't have, at, or at all. Because, um, um, yeah, uh, Jim does some awesome stuff. Um, his new prop is pretty sick that he got, too. <laughs> his his uh, HHN canceled, so I used the money to buy a distortions prop. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if yeah. you're going to do it, you might as well do it. Yeah. I mean, and if, yeah, if you're going to get something, get up distortions. I mean, once again, you know, buy quote unquote local. Um, there's plenty of vendors in the United States, uh, you know, that need the money. Um, so all you twits that go to Spirit Halloween, you're going to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> to hell if you're going to Spirit Halloween. Um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of awesome stuff. Uh, and the deal is, if I say that, if anybody's like, well, Mike, where the hell do I go? I will, I will tell you, I will give you a list. If you don't even know how to find it, James will tell you, you know, I, I, I've got every vendor page on Facebook liked. I can tell you if you need something, you know, I'll say, well, go here, go here, here, here. Um, so Keith needs 200 more subscriptions. Well, we will definitely try to help with that. Um, yeah, distortions is pretty amazing. Um, where are you going? Wait, where are you going to go, Danny? Spirit, I think. Oh, spirit. Well, you'll only go half to hell just for going in the building. <laughs> well, just if you go with the kid, just. Oh my God, for God's sakes, please don't let little one touch any of the masks or touch anything, please. Yeah, this it's, year's it's not a good for you. God, spirit. <laughs> yeah. Even in a non pandemic year, I would normally be like, I oh, don't touch her. But this year, oh my God, just watch him like a hawk. Don't put on any mask. Don't put anything on your face. I mean, it's, this is, you know, standard stuff now, but you just have no idea the people that go on Spirit Halloween's that just, uh, God, if Lee was here, she would tell you too, but such a disgusting store. It's just so disgusting. I don't care. 
CEO from Spirits listening right now, which I would actually laugh if they even knew about this, but they're just disgusting stores. They're run disgustingly. They're not clean. And during a pandemic, it's just going to be, they're, it's going to be worse. Nobody's going to clean. They're going to have all these protocols, quote unquote. It's gonna be like, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> can't find Lysol. Um, that's still a scarcity. Ah, this is gross. I'll shut up about it. Um, you go to Spirit with Spirits. Well, probably Mark Newsom does too. He probably shares with everybody that works there. Oh, God. But yeah, so yeah. Anybody with kids in here, if you go to Spirit, and it's really any store, it could be Walmart, whatever. Can't lick the mask. Sci- well, science. Uh, if you want to, man, <laughs> person, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, Ugh. Ew, gross. Just I'm I just you know the thing like that was I mean I just ramble for a minute. Spirit Halloween, their stuff is expensive, nothing soldered, it all breaks, it's all gross. Uh I really, really wish that here in the United States people would spend the money with uh vendors here. We've got tons of them, everyone from electronics. If you need a, a LED pen light, three dollars, I can tell you where, where to go. But it just goes on and on and on. Masks, spend a little bit more money and buy a mask from Stilt Beast or buy it from any of the other mask makers and have yourself something that's quality, that's you know handmade and and will last you for years. People that go to Spirit and they spend too much money and then you know they put it on their face and they've got ten to twelve different diseases prior to the pandemic. Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> gross! Oh, well, like it still means you can get the uh, the unfinished masks, so like they're not painted. You could do whatever you want to do with them, and they're insanely cheap. Yes, they are. They are. Um, and like I said, there's there's multiple vendors that do anywhere from static props, moving props. I mean, you know, some of them do like forty, fifty thousand dollar props. I mean, nobody, none of us are looking for that pretty much, but you know, there's mass, there's, there's mom and pop mass maker. Well, they're all mom and pop, but there's some that do them that uh, they're inexpensive. Some are a little bit more. You can find prosthetic hands. Um, I mean, all of the above. That's why like, you know, we're trying to get a trio of terror uh, to set themselves up to, make the cool stuff they do and sell it, you know, make some money for the charities. Y'all, you, you, the three of y'all could totally do it. Um, uh, it's Chinese garbage. I dare it there so I can, re- <laughs> I dare it to break so I can rebuild it better and stronger. Well, that's exactly everything that you get from spirit. Halloween would have to be that way. Cause, um, I just, ugh, it's just a, it's a gross store. It's just nasty. Uh, I mean, like I said, you have people at Walmart that do it, but for some reason I can even like, well, it's Walmart. You know I mean? If you walk in a Walmart store, you, you're immune to a few things to begin with, but, um, when you have a, and it's an everything store when you have spirit Halloween and it's like literally Halloween stuff and people go, this is gross. I'm just going to shut up. (laughs) I'm gross myself out. Um, yeah, Keith, you can buy blank masks for 30 bucks. See, if people, if I think that is a mission, um, is I think one of our missions should be, especially for home haunters, because home haunters are the ones that go to Spirit and Walmart and uh, Halloween City and blah, 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 blah. Because um, they don't know they can get some some cool stuff. Let's see, Science Behind the Scare, a little off topic, random question. This may be my first year doing security at my home haunt. What's a good flashlight option so I can see where I'm going without blinding myself or coworkers? Uh, that is a good uh, question, actually. <laughs> it is a good question. Um, but there's a couple of questions. Science, are you talking about something that has like an adjustable beam, uh, adjustable brightness, something that's got a focused beam or a lantern? Um, I will tell you this much. Um, this is what I have recommended to different haunts, uh, home and professional, uh, one that I ran a few years for several years together. Um, 
any flashlight that has either a red filter or red LEDs. Yep. Um, use a flashlight that's not white. Uh, and don't do blue or green or any of that stuff. Red tends to be uh, easier on the eyes. Your eyes seem to adjust uh, back and forth from it. Um, you can get flashlights uh, that actually have the red on them. Uh, matter of fact, you can get uh, uh, the 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 um, oh what the hell they're they're the ones you put on your skull like the like the the, the I call them workbench lights that have like different settings like white uh, and red red LEDs but um, and anything that angles down so your yeah, your it, your beam is facing directly down and it has a shield over um, yeah yeah. And like I said, something that adjusts so that you can have a very tight beam. Um, I actually would carry a uh, red LED flashlight that I could adjust the beam. And, but then I would also carry a little pin light, like the kind that you can put in your pocket and you click, click, and it's on and off, just in case I needed something for like uh, to look at a ticket or something like that. So um, uh, headlamps. Thank you, science. That's the word I was not getting out of my old brain. Hey, Tyler. Um, hey, Tyler. Um, so science, that's what I'd recommend. Uh, if you'd like, um, I can look up some for you uh, and send them to you uh, by message, maybe in a little bit. But um, red, that's what you want. Uh, even if you get something that's an adjustable red, as far as, uh, like I said, the... Uh, um, the beam and the brightness uh, and there's plenty out there, but long story short, you want a red light flashlight is really what you want. Yep. Red lasers. So you can beam them in somebody's eyes when they run into a wall. <laughs> Never wear white shorts to work day. Also true. Um, Zach says he would carry a bright one to shine in the eyes of a hostile person. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, he's not wrong. <laughs> no, no, he's not wrong. Um, uh, so, like I said, that's that's what I would typically do. Uh, and I, I actually had headlamps and stuff like that. I would, I'd end up sweating, though. They'd sweat, and they would pour sweat down my, my face just because of the band. But, hey, what's up, 13? Hey, 13. Um, but I, long story short red red a red lamp of some sort yep red light um and then of course i like rechargeable ones um uh just because they're rechargeable <laughs> oh things make a noise everywhere um I think uh let's see what other if we have any other news. Uh our our favorite uh <laughs> our favorite uh drive through haunt finally made an announcement today. You would think something that was getting so much attention would be just bangaranging on Facebook, but uh the haunted road made a very interesting post. So help yourself if you want to go look at it. I think James and I have now counted three um drive throughs that are gonna happen. Two in Orlando area and one in New Mexico. Yep. Uh it's three yeah, three or four. I feel like there was a fourth one, but it, it's uh it's, it's escaping me. Scuppy. You know, uh science, I'm not sure if Maglite makes red LED inserts. Um they probably do. I like Maglites but they're heavy, especially the, the D or C cell size. Um, once again, that's why I've, I've actually, I've shifted pretty much the myriad of flashlights that I have to uh, rechargeable, um, usually 18650, like that. Um, I can't wait till Halloween too, Tyler. Yeah, me too. Um, that means I don't have to mow my grass but another 5,000 times before. <laughs> Well, but no, then it gets here, here, and then it's like it's here, and then then everybody's sad for a day, and then everybody's happy again. So, um, 
Yeah, I, I just get sad when I run out of candy. <laughs> and then I'm all uh, happy again. What What is Danny talking about? Is that... Oh, the... I assume she's talking about the Haunted Road. Hey, um... Uh, science? Um, I just did a quick search, just out of curiosity. They they do sell different things for the mag lights. Uh, every everything from uh, just a filter pack to uh, you can get third party LEDs, um, inserts, stuff like that. So yeah, if you're if you're a mag light person, you got mag lights. Um, uh, then the answer is yes. Uh, I searched for mag light red LED bulb, and it came with pretty much pretty much everything you'd want. Um, to know about it so they do yeah keith funny funny thing about that uh so after we talked about it on the show that day the following day that one popped up about the haunted drive-in which was hilarious because it was like uh what reginald it was like almost exactly what reginald was talking about yeah uh and it's called scream and stream for anybody that wants to know, it's a weird implementation of the idea. Um, it's not something I would do. It's not the price I would pay whatsoever. It's so <laughs> expensive. You can go buy yourself a ginormo TV <laughs> <laughs> and put it in your house for the price they're asking. But um, You pay me $10, I'll stand behind you and just punch you in the back of the head. Yeah, no kidding. And yeah, Vic, uh, we did uh, almost the whole show on the drive drive through haunts, uh, and I, we agree, uh, it's dangerous. Uh, there's there's just too many variables. Go watch the the show that says uh, Dead End Road Edition. And <laughs> I think yeah, he we, was here yeah. for that one. I'm sure, Were he was you? here. Yeah. Okay. Was he? I can't. I can't. I'm getting so old. I know. It's been it's been crazy. You would floor it right over the clowns. Well, <laughs> I'm with you. You and you and about every everybody. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't mind clowns, but I I just wouldn't do it. I just would not put my car. I consider myself to be a pretty darn good driver, but who else isn't? Oh yeah, um, that one. This this the uh, stream stream and scream scream and stream. They they even have on their uh, post. They're like, um. Can, on their FAQ, <laughs> they're like, can we bring a rental car? And their response was, yes, but make sure you get the insurance because you never know what's going to happen. Ta-da! See, I just <laughs> learned something new myself. Um, and Science Behind the Scare uh, says there is apparently one coming to Japan. It's that one that everybody's basing the stuff here on. The one in Japan uh, was a story about a month or two ago. And that's why now they're popping up here. Um, that's funny about the rental car, though. I, uh, uh, oh, Vic's got a theater room with a 120-inch screen. Yeah, uh, it sounds like your room. You could just drive your car into it, Vic. <laughs> just kidding. Um, that was a, that was a good show, Vic. You should go back and watch that one. We were uh, we were we were pretty much uh, on a roll that night. Yeah, Vic, uh, if you get bored, uh, you can just pretty much listen to it. Um, cause we, you know, if you don't want to watch the, um, chat, the chat, <clears throat> but yeah, it's called, uh, I can't remember what night it was, but it's a uh, dead end road edition. Uh, and we do, we talk quite extensively about the stupidity of, uh, having a demolition derby haunted attraction. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd be all for a bumper car haunted drive through. Well, sure, but, but that's a whole other topic. That's that's a whole other topic, and it still would have to be minus a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. And Keith, we agree that the actors shouldn't be able to touch the cars, but I guarantee you uh, they'll probably be told not to, but you're still going to have some of the ones that don't listen because you always have actors and actresses, whatever, who don't listen. They want to do their own thing, and they touch customers or they slam bam a car or they, you know, do whatever they're going to do. And that's just inherent. So you're going to have somebody with a baseball bat go whacking up against a car thinking it won't hurt. And it's 
on the end of it. Zach is like, I'm totally touching their car. Right? Um, I would just take a mouthful of uh, fake blood, just spit all over the windshield. Yeah, science, we talked about the hamster ball things, too. Um, I think science is the one that came up with that, actually. Oh, okay. He was just on his actual account, so. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do it if we weren't in a pandemic. And if I could carry, like, 10 or 12 cans of Lysol. <laughs> What's up, numbskull? Hey, numbskull. Uh, Brian says, guess no haunted pub crawls this year. Well. Yeah. I, mean, I, would, I would advise it. Make, you can make your own pub crawl. You can go pub but, crawl but, with uh, Woodley, I guess. <laughs> you, yeah. You want to go do something. Mark would do it. You could just put liquor in each room of your house. Get on a small tricycle and just run around. <laughs> yeah, just turn your windshield uh, washer sprayers off to the sides and just spray them. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would just have a water cannon on my car. I'd strap it. <laughs> uh, Vic says. Vic says senior citizens will be driving their scooters through it literally. <laughs> Yeah, it's just um there's Jabby. What's up, Jabby? Um uh, Oh, and of course your mom has to give him some hearts. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> Thanks for starting that up right off the bat. <laughs> Whoo. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Y'all just go go in the corner somewhere. Everybody um, loves the clown. <laughs> everybody loves Jabby. That's why Jabby is our mafia clown. Um, that's right, numbskull. I would, I would just get a, I would get like a battery powered super soaker, hook it to my car battery. But yeah, so yeah, we are totally in agreement that uh, the drive through thing is nonsensical. Like I said, we covered that. I mean, we had a lot of folks in chat who were also putting their ideas of why it was such a bad idea, which I thought was brilliant. Um, the uh, screaming stream. Um, is entirely too expensive. I do understand why they have to make it so expensive, but it's because their business model is so crappy that if they're going to have <laughs> one car in a space for two hours and 20 minutes um, taking up a space, yeah, they're going to have to have a lot of money. But uh, I'm sorry, they're, you know, they're buying eBay projectors and making you have all your sound system and all that other you can rent a sound bar for $65 <laughs> for two hours. I, I, from them. Yeah. For, yeah. Oh, God. I just, oh, my God. There's a bunch of people smoking crack on a table, putting their idea together. You know what? It's oh. like, I don't want to be like, I don't want to crap all over the idea. It's just, it's going to bring so much bad attention. That uh, It's what bothers me about it. I'll crap all over it because it's a stupid idea. It's a, it's ill. I mean, I understand what you're saying. Um, that's right, Zach. Jabby is not supposed to be saying the F bomb tonight. <laughs> uh, it won't stop him. <laughs> get the um, soap. Don't, don't get a soap bar for Jabby. He'll, he'll make <laughs> relations with it. Uh, yeah, no, I will totally. It's, if, if the owners were in here right now or the people, I'd totally tell them it's just, it's, it's a ridiculous idea. Um, Stop trying to do something stupid. Oh, God, Zach said, put it in your mouth. It's getting worse between Zach, your mom, and Jabby. Put all three of them in the corner. <laughs> and Keith, Keith's constantly ragging on Jabby now. <laughs> that crack is cool. Yeah, crack is cool. Apparently, if you're doing a drive through attraction, you have to be taking some to come up with that mess. Um. 25 they're bucks and I like the soap. <laughs> well then, we'll put together a GoFundMe. Science uh, Behind says, what are your thoughts on the upcoming virtual haunt experience taking over in the current state of the world? Um, <laughs> I think if it's done correctly, it would be kind of cool. I'd pay money to do it. I wouldn't pay large sums of it to do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay more than a ticket price. Uh, I actually wouldn't pay a ticket price, but I would do it. Yeah. 
I only have one good eye and I'd still do it. So I'd get half the haunt. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, like the um, thing that uh, the haunted honeymooners are doing. Uh, I think yeah. that's cool. That's uh, that's an interesting way to bring some fear into your life. Sure. Like I said, if it's done right uh, and it's innovative, uh, then yeah. Um, I don't think, I think everyone would agree that you can never take the place of the physical walk through with the smells and the sights and all that stuff. But, um, um, I want more dark rides in my life. There, there are not enough of them. <laughs> well, get in your car, go to Orlando, <laughs> just drive through the woods, <laughs> just drive through the, turn off all your lights and, um, you know, pray to whatever God you believe in and just hit the gas. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the, the old dark rides at the carnivals and stuff. You never knew if you like were literally going to be murdered on one of those rides. So, uh, they always had that like weird air of danger to them just because of where they were located and the fact that they were carnival rides. <laughs> Operated by carnival people carnival folk not mean to laugh at that i meant to like it it's a freaking thing Wait, welcome back laughing. tyler no tyler said he's back he lagged out and i went to go like it but the thing scrolled up and i just ended up laughing at it laughing at your laggery <laughs> i laugh at your problem at your, <laughs> your internet of webs yeah i like dark rides too um that's uh Uh, it, it is it is part of the mystique of them. You're just like, I don't know if someone's going to just like pop me right in the throat. And Keith is correct. Most carnies do seem to come out of Florida. <laughs> yeah, well, where are the crazies come reason. from? That's another reason why carnivals are such a hoot. Um, because there's nothing like tilt the world and bath salt. <laughs> the rampant drug use in Florida is a good, a, yeah. a good jumping off point for the carny. Do y'all think Universal will have a year-round haunt haunted attraction because of all the hype they are get that they're getting? I don't think they will. No, they couldn't even do one for two months. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for Lee to just pop in, like shut up. I know you say it one more time, and it's like summoning Beetlejuice. She's just gonna appear. Someone's talking bad about my favorite <laughs> event of all time. But yeah, yeah, Brian, uh, I don't, I, I myself don't think that they would do a year, year round haunted attraction. Smell of cabbage. Well, yeah, they did the year round, wa uh, walking dead thing. And that was a nightmare. Uh, wait, but they didn't do it here. They did it in Hollywood, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. In Hollywood. Oh, okay. Um, he says they store their machines and rides in Florida and their drugs. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know uh, if I would want to store the machines in Florida. It's too much humidity and salt. Texas would be a good place for it. Like West Texas, where it's just hot and dry. There you go. Arizona. Uh, th yeah, that's how you said. Florida. We have a lot of space in Florida, I guess. <laughs> um, oh, now there's some sort of rampage going on between Jabby and Danny. Yeah. That's cool. But um I'm gonna go ahead and give uh Ooh, you're like spicy sauce. Random. I like <laughs> spicy sauce. I like spicy food. Wait, you're gonna give what now? To the what? What to the where now? I lost my train of thought when what I was doing, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. Thank you for bringing it up again, though. I was kind of hoping it would just fade off. <laughs> okay. That's, I was like, I thought maybe I had uh, nope. changed the subject so much. Spicy sauce. Uh, so, Tyler, let's let's expound upon your spicy sauce uh, question with no question mark. <laughs> I like spicy sauce. Um, or should I say Carolina Reaper nah. pepper? I'm not doing that. Now, that's a bit too harsh for me. Uh, I know, I know people that would do it though.
<laughs> Javi said all of Texas is hot and dry. Not Houston. You know that. You live in Houston. Houston's muggy as all hell. I mean, it's still dry, but there, there's still a lot of humidity in Houston. Yeah. Not, not out like West Texas. Florida is synonymous with humidity year-round, even on Christmas. Maybe not in February, but. But we need to get one of those Carolina Reapers and send it to you so you can eat it on stream. Because I'm not doing it. You can Who, do me? it. Yeah. I just, oh, I just, no, I said that's, that, no, I, I told yeah, you. Well, you can do it. I already voted you to do it. No, I'm, I'm too old to do that shit. <laughs> the, the one chip challenge. Yeah, I, I would, no. I value my taste buds. I've done some hot stuff. Typically, it's like gumbo or jumbo. I, I mean, I've done like hot, spicy foods, but that's a little that's a little rough. Oh yeah, my dad will eat it. He'll eat that stuff all day. Just... I said, bring it. <laughs> uh, he'll eat anything. Like it's ridiculous. So, and it doesn't matter how hot it is. <laughs> uh, Vic says we need a theme park run ran by porn stars isn't that disney <laughs> <laughs> Woo, disney ain't gonna like that that's all right science behind the scares say another random question also stream elements versus stream labs versus obs thoughts now that is a james question i'm going to shut up stream elements versus stream labs versus obs honestly the stream labs is basically obs uh stream elements is OBS essentially they've merged so um you're just gonna have like stream elements and stream and and the OBS is all basically the same thing uh stream labs however um I've liked stream labs the little it, actually for some reason it it's a little more resource uh intensive but um the layout's nice they all have the, like pretty much the exact same functionality. Uh, it's up to you as to which one you want to use. The thing I don't like about stream labs now, this is going to be a little off topic, but they've made everything, uh, all of their overlays and everything prime. Uh, so you basically have to be a member of their prime service to get any kind of decent overlay. If you're not making it yourself. Uh, stream elements though they still have a decent number of uh overlays that you can use um and again it's 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 all it's all your choice they do the same exact things basically I actually use stream labs for my gaming and I use just the vanilla o b s for this stream. Vanilla. <laughs> Houston is and bipolar as shit. As one heard... minute it's raining. <laughs> okay. God. So science, uh, uh, James is very much uh, into and up on all that. So everything he just said, you got it. That's it. Oh, night, Brian. Thanks, man, for coming in, as always, bro. Always good to see you in here. We'll see you again. All right, Brian. Take it easy, man. Um, <clears throat> Whoo. <laughs> Keith. Can't even say it out loud. Yeah, chat did, <laughs> chat did take a turn. What is going on with you guys? It's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, science. <laughs> science uh, yeah, chat will do this. Unfortunately, we have almost no control over the actual chat side of things of course uh james and i will keep everything as as uh pg uh on our end except on fridays which it can get a little it can get a little crazy with the cussing on my end <laughs> bring it down like 15 to 35 levels right now i don't even know i'm like reading this and i'm like so lost that uh, <laughs> Yeah, science. When you get a crazed clown in here, which would be Jabby, who is who is our token 
mafia clown, things can go quite haywire. <laughs> you guys are good, great. but yeah, we, it's all yeah. That's why, like I said, uh, in the on the podcast version of this, you don't see all this, and <laughs> and for good reason. Um. Yeah, Jabby, you holy- you succeeded. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> you go take it off that vape pen and <laughs> get your THC vape and take take it easy. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um yeah, science it does. It happens. Like I said, we got we got zero control. I mean, unless we just banned everybody, but then it wouldn't be uh Honors Anonymous. <laughs> um Well, that's interesting. Yes, Halloween will be safe because the Halloween is not in any danger. You cannot cancel Halloween. Uh, Halloween evolves and it rearranges itself. But all these folks that boohoo, Halloween's canceled. No, um, it's up to all of us to make sure that Halloween uh, perseveres. Uh, like I said, we all change with it. Um, that's why we, James and I, promote and Hans and Amos and all of y'all promote the home haunt because that is going to be big this year um the man himself alan hops has even said that a few times uh that he believes that home haunts will be uh quite a quite a a lifesaver this year um and we believe the same that's why we are pushing to do as much as we can but uh halloween halloween doesn't need to be saved because hell yeah science yeet the treats (laughs) that is right um I'll be eating all kinds of treats. I'll be eating and eating all kinds of treats. So it's up to the home haunt. It really is. I mean, you know, that you've got some of the professional haunts that are closing. Um, Vic is taking a bit too much crack because now he's just, I like biscuits. <laughs> um, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so you eat the treats. Absolutely. Um, but uh, Halloween, Halloween will be awesome this year. Uh, it'll just be a big change for a lot of people who are used to doing things the same year after year. And it might be a good time to change, uh, change things up. Some people are having to do it, being pushed to do it. And some people are just like, yeah, yeah. Keeping it he, rated. he was keeping it PG. He likes PG. biscuits. <laughs> I like biscuits. I like biscuits too. Uh, Tyler says, I don't think our haunt's going to be closed this year. What haunt is it, Tyler? You've probably said a million times, and I'm I'm sorry, I forget. Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's Creepy Hollow Woods. Ah, help. <laughs> Doy. I just showed you how all, it's just all the porn talk y'all were doing. It just fried my brain. Uh, no, Danny, my favorite Halloween candy is not candy corn. I don't eat candy corn. His favorite Halloween I mean, candy not... is candy pumpkins. Candy pumpkins. Candy corn yeah. pumpkins. I actually like candy corn pumpkins. I don't know why the hell. Um, <laughs> they're they're the exact same thing in a different shape. Yeah, I just I don't know why. I don't know what the I think maybe the texture is different. I don't know. Uh yeah, Tyler, I think uh Kevin, all they're, they're going to try to open up creepy if they can. The only way it won't open is if uh, they are mandated to not open. <clears throat> now Vic likes candy corn. Chocolate candy Biscuits. corn. Ugh. I'm okay with the chocolate candy. I don't like. I don't really like eating them. I don't like. I don't really like regular candy corn either. It's just sweet. But hey, uh, science. You say biscuits with gravy. Uh, I'll have you know it needs to be biscuits with sausage gravy. <laughs> that that is the bomb. I'll eat biscuits and gravy. That's very southern. But you throw some some uh, sausage crumbles in there, and we we got we got a we got a party. Yeah, Danny, they're the same thing. They're just orange and green in the shape of uh, a pumpkin, but they're literally the same thing. What is my favorite? I don't know. That's a good question. I like the old time stuff, like those little striped peanut butter things that nobody knows where you ever find them. I need to figure out where those are at. 
I did. I do know where they are now, though. They're they're like dollar store candy. Oh, you know what? That's true. Like Dollar Tree. I think you're right. I think I've seen them at Dollar Tree. It's too bad we're in a pandemic and I don't want to go to Dollar Tree. Um, <laughs> Waffles and pancakes are the same thing, just different shape. Well, I think technically you're right, but there is a crust difference because of the way they're made in the air. But I don't know. I'm no food genius. Just eat it and get fat. Science says peppermill gravy. Yes, yes. Uh, Vic, candy cigarettes. You know what's interesting? For a long time, you couldn't find those. And I thought that they stopped making them just because of the stigma of them being a candy cigarette. Would you believe last year, and I should have bought some last year at Big Lots for, um, for, um, uh, oh, what the hell is that holiday called? Oh, my God. Hey, Chuck. I'm totally serious. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. I was just saying, hey, Chuck. <laughs> oh, hey, Chuck. God, Valentine's. I could not remember what the Valentine's they had candy cigarettes at Big Lots. That was kind of amazing. Danny, those uh, are Mary Chuck, Jane's. Sorry. And yeah, they are delicious. Um, chicken and waffles is awesome. The peanut butter taffy things are awesome. Hey, Nick. Um, oh, then Schoolhouse will open September 25th. I had a feeling that it would be very hard to keep dent schoolhouse down that's all that's good to know and hey ben how you doing you um yeah i've seen a few dent uh i think ronnie actually shared one the dent schoolhouse big league chewing gum you see that quite a bit in high school thank you for vic uh, that's awesome of you <laughs> uh sweet and tea is dent whoa Pist what is going on with your microphone at the moment for me yeah. What? What's going on now? You're, you're really choppy, like you're losing connection or something. Okay, let me put this in. How's this? Is this better? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're called Mary Janes. Is that better? Uh, kind of. Still Roboto, yeah. but... Is it? Yeah. Well, let's just test. I'll be right back. Yep. Uh, um... I you know what I I've had this discussion before. I don't know why, but butterfingers that you get on Halloween are better than any butterfinger you buy in the store. Like it's just a fact. There's it's not even a debate. It's science. Um if I was to if I was to guess what my favorite one is, I would say it's Reese's. It's always Reese's. Um any form of Reese's. Remember the Cabbage Patch candy gum with cards? Yep. I have an entire box of Ghostbusters 2 uh, trading cards that have the gum still in them. <laughs> it's literally a store box of them. Yeah, White Reese's are good, too. White Reese's are good. Is this better? Yes. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, you sound so much better. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, sorry. I don't know what the hell that was, but Butterfingers are very cool. I tend to not eat them while I'm passing out candy because they get stuck in my face and my teeth. You don't know that I was born a month early because it's my due date to be born. Oh, uh, that sucks. I don't know why I just did that. Um, Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, they're the little like. They're peanut butter taffy, and they roll, like, peanut butter inside the taffy, and they come in black and orange. Yeah, they're called Mary Janes. The only thing I can ever remember is the name of the ones that I like the most, which are those little striped uh, wrapper peanut butter wafer things. I want to try those uh, butter popcorn M&M's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I, I'm been waiting to try those too, but I haven't seen them. Me either. I no place I go to. Well, I don't go no anywhere, place so. I go to. Yeah, I go to three stores, and that's it. One of them I know won't have it. I have to uh, have my mom keep an eye out, or Tiffany look when she goes to the store. They will not step foot in a store. 
Yeah, my buddy uh, who's assistant manager at Big Lots, he knows to keep uh, a vigilant eye when the Halloween candy comes out. So. Now laters. Yeah. You'd still get the big packs of the now laters. Now now and later. What are they? Now and laters? I would think they're called now and laters because they take forever to eat, right? No, they're not Chico sticks. That would I don't think that's what you're talking about, right? No, that's not what I was talking about. What style of barbecue is the best? Texas. Salty licorice. I hate licorice, so I can't imagine salty being any better. That's interesting. You know what? I I do like black licorice, though. I'm one of those few. Oh, people. my God. What is wrong with you? I used to not like it, and now all of a sudden, I, I like them as uh, jelly beans. I don't like doing the Twizzler hellevers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this page should be about <laughs> diabetes now. Well, it's uh, Halloween I'll, candy, you know. We're on topic. <laughs> I like peanut butter wafers. Science, I do. Chico sticks. Uh, Chico stri striped S peanut buttery crunchy. I don't think that... No, that's not it. Is Danny doing a commercial? <laughs> she, she should be. I mean, that's pretty good. It was well, well written. Chico, Chico sticks. Right, peanut buttery crunchy goodness. Science said they're just called peanut butter wafers, so I mean that makes I like, sense. I like cow tails. And don't come at me with this uh Carolina barbecue vinegar stuff. Not about that. Love any black licorice. You both are horribly <laughs> messed up in the head. I'm t I, I I mean, maybe about five years ago and beyond, I didn't like it. Um, but then all of a sudden I was like, and I don't, like I said, I don't like doing the Twizzler. I don't like having to sit there and rip it apart. I like the, uh, the jelly bean version. It, I, for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why all of a sudden. Um, now, if, will you have me go buy lick, black licorice? No. That'd be very rare. Uh, for, I just offer it to me, I would eat it. I found it. It's funny. I, I literally Googled Chico sticks, like Danny said, and I found those things. They're not called Chico sticks, but I'm going to post the link to it. Y'all say Chico sticks 300 times more and see if you don't summon the devil. Uh, look at that link. Good God. There they are. There's a picture yeah. of them right there in chat now. That's what I was talking about. Uh, I'm afraid to click. I, it, it doesn't show for me. I think it's because I'm on a tablet. Tyler says, what the hell, how? <laughs> because how you like black now? licorice. Gross. I can't, I cannot, I can't even stand the smell of black licorice. It, I'm telling you, it's weird. Like I said, up until a few years ago, I was like, ooh. But now I'm like, yeah, see, I don't, I'm not seeing a picture of it in my chat, but that's all right. That I don't, sucks. I don't click it. I don't click it, here. it may be a, it may be a computer thing where it just shows you the preview on the computer. Probably. Look at what a damn I Chico looked what a damn Chico like. stick looks like. It's a long orange stick. That's literally what I did. It showed me the Chico stick, and immediately next to the Chico stick was the peanut butter bars. <laughs> Chico stick. Sold exclusively at Halloween Horror Nights. Not striped. I'm not seeing stripes on the picture right now that I'm looking at. <laughs> this is Sunday for you. I can't believe we're spending James. this much time checking out Chico sticks. <laughs> Your granddad loved black licorice. Explains why MD likes it in his old age. Yep, that's got to be what it is. It's just that dementia that sets in when you get old. <laughs> Ellen, you might. I, it, hey, you know. I would say when I was about 45, uh, I start. I was like, you know what? Black licorice is not bad. But I did make a differenti uh, differentiation <laughs> of uh, that I liked them in jelly bean form and not, not Twizzler or, you know, strands or however. 
Yeah, Chico stick is what's inside a, a Butterfinger. <laughs> I don't know who you're gonna stab, but it's probably gonna be Mike because he likes black licorice. I don't blame I can't him. believe that we're now in the science of Chico sticks. <laughs> the science of Chico sticks at Homes Anonymous Sunday night. Well, these are the important topics that people want to discuss. I'm sorry. It's, it's 100% Halloween. <laughs> I know I will more than likely have to be finding a Chico stick and trying it out. I do like cowtails too. Uh, scare. I'm going to call you scare. I don't like calling you science. It's not for me. Now, you didn't like post it double. The chat does that randomly sometimes. You're fine. Yeah, that's not you. Uh, Tyler, uh, chocolate-covered bacon um, is like the craziest, most awesome thing ever. Yeah, chocolate-covered candy bacon is good. Chocolate-covered chocolate covered chicle stick bacon. Woo! <laughs> I'm surprised I got that out. Well, what? If Jabby likes black... How am I the one in the minority here with the whole not liking black licorice? I don't, I don't, I don't believe this. You people are just screwing like with licorice. me. Nope. See, that's why I don't like Jägermeister. I don't like that taste. I don't like uh, anise too. Steve McQueen in the blob. Is that the answer? Yeah, Dave. Oh, God. <laughs> 55. Yeah, 54, 53. <laughs> 87, 302. Uh, now see, Zach, that's nasty. Anchovies and pineapple on pizza. I don't like anchovies on pizza. They're I nasty. will do pineapple. I gotta hit the block button on Zach. <laughs> Zach, sorry, you're gone. Where's, where's the black block, block, the block button on Zach? Yeah, no, I like. Uh, <laughs> and hey, Dave. Um, I mean, you gotta like pineapple on pizza. It's that sweet and salty like uh, contrast. You no. like black licorice. Yep. You get no say in this. <laughs> I don't. Mm. Now he's talking, it's time to talk about salty chocolate covered licorice. Oh, it's getting worse. No, <laughs> no, no. That's that. That's a bit too much, Tyler. <laughs> you go find the block button on Tyler. Um, the blob was originally called the glob, or possibly molten meteor, according yeah. to Danny. Also, molten meteor. Still not getting a point for it. I don't care. Pineapple liquor ice. Now there's an idea. Hmm. I also don't care for pineapple. I will eat it, but I don't care for it. Zach well, likes fishy stuff. Ugh. You you can do uh, you can go to the Waldorf and get um, pasteurized frozen ocean water in a in a sorbet. Jeez. <laughs> it's a it's a it's thing. Sunday night has gone just way off the rails here. The only, the, and, and, it, and this sounds weird. The only place that I like anchovies at all is in cedar dressing, cedar salad dressing. They put it in barbecue sauce too sometimes, which is okay because you don't get oh, the, do uh, yeah. Only a very few do. Um, I don't, do they have Hungry Howie's in Pensacola, like up that area? <laughs> yes, we're not, we're not that. Back ass woods. <laughs> well, yeah, we, have, we don't have we, it up we, here. We but... we could have had two two astronauts actually eat at Hungry Howie's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, they do. They do. The, the we, we barbecue have, sauce at Hungry Howie's has anchovies in it. Does it really? I worked I worked at Hungry that? Howie's when I was in high school. I actually like I actually like most everything that, and I've had that, so that's that's pretty wild. I'm looking yep. into all a new three. phone for live stream. Um. All, all, all three of the trio is here. There's Pat. Wait, wait, wait. Who's looking for what now? Uh, Keith is looking for a phone for live streaming. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you talking like a... a so you're just going to stream off your cell phone? Dave, Spooky Empire canceled this year. Yeah. Sorry. They, they announced it weeks ago. They yep. They rescheduled till next year. Keith, what's your budget? He wants to know what the 
Is an eight megapixel camera. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Made by Fisher Price. Flip phones. You know, they've got pretty sophisticated flip phones these days. He still uses <laughs> Nice. Damn, now I want one of those barbecue pizzas from Hungry Howie's. <laughs> You gotta get their chicken tenders, man. Wow. Their chick spicy chicken tender salad with that barbecue sauce on it's stupid good. Wow, that does sound good. What is your uh well the big thing if you're doing streaming? Um, and you're gonna be doing it off your Wi Fi, I assume. Which is kind of rough because streaming from a Wi Fi in general is kinda not great. But uh, you want to make sure you have a good upload speed. Yeah, and uh, Keith, just don't punch me in the throat for this, but this is a common thing. Um, I've noticed that a lot of times if the image is fuzzy, it's because there's uh, fingerprint oil on the uh, lens. You have to keep those things pretty clean. And it's very difficult because you touch all over your phone. So... If I'm getting ready to take a picture or video or anything, I always like use my cotton shirt to clean it a little bit of spit. Um, but you'd be surprised. Uh, fingerprint oil. Just touching it once will screw up the picture. Danny's going to start a, a, a Twitch Chico stick stream. That's awesome. God, that, actually, <laughs> that, that sounded good coming out of my mouth. Not for any particular reason. Danny's going to start a Twitch stream. Twitch, Twitch, Chico Street. Well, screw it. I can't say it twice. So you do that, Danny. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> String and two cans is awesome. Well, what are you, what are you using to record your uh, YouTube videos? Because they're great quality. I bet you he's using a camera camera, like a point and shoot. Zeiss lens cleaning wipes are fantastic science. Yes. You can get cheaper versions on Amazon, but uh, the Zeiss lens ones are, of course, those are primo. Uh, Jabby has lost his ever loving damn mind. That's <laughs> awesome. So we're here quoting uh, Jay. <laughs> hey, it's Sunday. Calm down. B. Yes, he is a great man. Um <laughs> Well, you know, it's what's weird is, I mean, these days you can find computer cameras like, um, you know, USB and all that stuff that are 4K for nothing if you wanted to go that, that, um, uh, but you can, you can get cameras now for super inexpensive. Just, uh, a lot of nice record right off your SLR and your, um, computer. Yeah. My wisdom is astounding. Danny, <laughs> Just, except for the whole liking black licorice thing. I was gonna say, but my black li licorice is the most astounding. Um, well, this has been one hell of an evening. Yeah, we've gone around the world three hundred times. Um, but I do, I do tell people, you know, wipe, wipe the camera lens, whatever it is, unless it's point and shoot don't do that you'll break it but what famous film was shot in the building that john lennon was shot in front of two points to griffin door i have no idea also to uh extrapolate on keith's question i don't know if it was an actual question or just him being a smart ass but uh um <clears throat> megapixel is basically it's over one million pixels, but it's essentially for frame of reference a million. Uh, so an eight megapixel camera roughly has eight million pixels in the image. The higher the megapixel, the cleaner the image. I, Up to I a didn't point. I know that was a legitimate question. That's funny. Rosemary's baby was the answer. Two points to Gryffindor again. <laughs> Two points. Yeah. 
uh if if in fact that was uh a legit question yeah just use a slab of bologna make sure you don't put mustard on it though wow and then make sure you're eating black licorice when you do it I, I had to figure out what the reference of the baloney was because I'm thinking it was something that Jabby said. <laughs> I'm going to riot if it does get freaking commercial. Yeah, eight, megs, eight megapixels is not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's you can get much higher and, and pretty decent priced phones and stuff like that, but... Um... Like James said, you know, if you're using Wi-Fi, you definitely need to have really good uh, upstream upload. Yeah, and the issue with when you're on Wi-Fi is the signal is never consistent, so. Yeah. Speaking of bad Wi-Fi, uh, all of Disney must be broken because Mark's not here. He said he was working and he wasn't happy about it. So they must have some issues. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, yeah, if he's having to actually do something, then, yeah. The mouse <laughs> must be broken. How many megapixels are 4K? Uh, I think those are two different measurements. Think of my jiggies. If James is, if James is in Googling mode, I mean, oh, uh, yeah, can... let me see what I can get. You. Uh, you'll be spending bucks if you try to get a, a 4K uh, 4K phone, though. Back to uh, Dave says, okay, back to Spooky Empire. That really does suck. They had an awesome lineup this year, including Jeffrey Combs, whom I've never gotten to meet yet. Um, yeah, all of the announcements, Dave, all across the board of everything that's been canceled has sucked. Um, I know a lot of people, specifically like you, focused in on spooky empire and um totally sucks it has fiber optic internet how that well from your phone you're not gonna there's no gonna there's no other way um yeah. you don't want to do data obviously My um, jabbing. fiber optic okay. is wonderful because you get the same upload and download uh Sorry, now I'm trying to catch back up. Uh, no, that's because now Danny's like, should uh, Hunter's Honest put together 12 days of Halloween horror movie lists we all can watch and talk about? I thought we did actually talk about that. I thought we were going to do something like that. What was it? Sorry. Uh, hold on, I got to say goodnight to Jabby or he'll say something pornographic and won't go away. Um, I'm kidding. Um, welcome back, Chuck. Danny said, should Haunted Zones put together 12 days of Halloween horror movie lists we can all watch and talk about? Um, sure. We did talk about that, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought we had. Vic said his GoPro can shoot in 4K, which is awesome. I GoPros are kind of a hit or miss for me. Um, back when they were new and they had that terrible fisheye effect and everybody loved the hell out of them, I couldn't stand them. And the sound on them is complete crap. Keith uses a track phone, which is awesome. <laughs> By the way, kind of to answer his question before I forget it, it's uh, there's actually eight megapixels in a 4K. Uh, it's not the reference of the entire image; it's the vertical and horizontal number of pixels in uh, along the edge of an image. There's four thousand. Uh, Yeah, so there's 2,000 on each vertical edge. Alex, I'll take the hell did you just say for 200? <laughs> yeah, no, I, that makes sense. Um, Keith, what kind of a track phone is it, though? Uh, Nick, uh, if you know where there's some free black licorice ice cream, let me know. Uh, do they make Do they make black? <laughs> I don't know. Do they make black licorice ice cream? Because I would get some. I, Why? I would buy that just for the hell of it because it's sugar upon sugar and it's cold. What the hell is optic? <laughs> uh, there you go. 
Then Dave says, I would really like to try and pull off an event here in Florida. I have a venue. It's just a matter of putting it together. Count Gore Duvall, who, by the way, is freaking awesome. And Dr. Gangrene, also awesome, said they'd be interested in participating. True story. Well, go for it. Nice. I watched Count Gore Duvall's um, um, documentary on Prime a couple weeks ago. It was very awesome. It was, it was very nostalgic. Um, GoPro, grow, Vic says, GoPro 7 Black is what I used to video with. Damn good, <laughs> damn good video quality, Vic. Um, Chuck, it sounds good to me, too. Uh, Danny would like to know where in Florida, Dave, you're talking about. Um, Danny is asking you if what you said a minute ago was English. And Keith is WTF. What, what does that, or does that mean? I'm a caveman. <laughs> Dave is like, I live in Northport, but the venue would be in Inglewood, Florida. Keith has a Samsung droid that is super broad. Uh, Dave says, LOLMD, you're my favorite. Sugar and cold can't be that bad. No, hell no. Dave, share, share that link, man. Share that link. Yeah, share that. Yeah, share that, man. I'd, I'd, I'd watch that in a heartbeat. Unless the whole picture is fuzzy from oil on your lens, <laughs> from you wiping baloney on the lens. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that the I think the documentary was every other day is Halloween. I think, I think that's right. Zach's here. Zach's here. Yeah, Chuck. Zach's here. Dragon Touch makes a 4K action camera, according to science behind the scare. Um, 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor. Ooh, that was random. <laughs> 1.8 so, gigahertz? Jesus. Gigahertz octa-core processor and a Samsung phone. That's, why would you have an 8-core processor and a phone? For, for fun. <laughs> for <And> fun. <laughs> Well, uh, Keith, if you've got a Samsung Droid with a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor, I just like saying that, so that's why I say it three times. Um, that's a pretty good phone. It should have a, if it's a Samsung, it should have a fairly good uh, camera front and back. Um, Danny's having lag, which is killing her. Um, Keith, yeah, okay, I'm glad you, I figured you saw it. It was a, it was fantastic. Um, it's great. Oh, and there's the link. Thank you, Dave. Now it's pinned. Pinned it for the remainder of this stream. Since I can't show favoritism to the to one to, to one of the trios, since you're all hey, here. Hey Tyler, thank you for uh, coming by. Um, go to sleep, hang out with your friends, man. Stay safe and um, come see us Wednesday, okay? Thanks so much for coming by. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping. Yep. Um. James, did you see that? Did I tell you about that? Every other day is Halloween. It's actually pretty cool. If you if you followed uh, Count Gord of all, um, I did not, but I will. It's 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 good. It's actually even if you don't know much about Count, uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's a it's a great uh, and he did the documentary. Um, it's just kind of cool. It's kind of some interesting uh, factoids, uh, some other stuff too. Back in the day. Um, nice. He says Keith is now telling us the entire spec specs of his phone. <laughs> it has a 720 by 1560 resolution. That's probably the uh, the display. Oh no, that sucks, Zach. All right, 720 by 1560. All right, that's not bad. One with Al Omega, Bobby, uh, Doctor Dring. Uh, Oh, sweet, Dave. That's cool. Well, Vic, you know, as much as y'all do, um, spending a little bit of a couple of dollars on some really good cameras, and especially if you decide to all three get one and you get the same one, that way uh, you can troubleshoot with each other. Um, it's what I'd recommend. I, I do recommend, I mean, for what y'all do, which is 
amazingly awesome. Uh, getting something beside your phone, unless you just need something to 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 uh, live stream. But you know they do actually make um, point and shoots and DSLRs and stuff with Wi-Fi and uh, Wi-Fi on them, and some of them actually will have a uh, um, another Ethernet port. So if you want to like just go straight to your router, you can. Paul Bear, absolutely. Yeah, see, Can't Keith, I can do all the technical stuff, but I cannot, <laughs> cannot weld to save my life. Yeah, I can't. I can't weld either, but I also I have to be careful with my eyes, so I I can't even. It's not even something I would attempt. We talked about that watching that video that was mesmerizing us while we were trying to interview you. <laughs> I th I'm thinking next Friday. I think this coming Friday. Um, I might do, I might put that game up and play, uh, costume quest. The one I was talking about where you go around trick or treating. Oh just, yeah. Just for some background distraction. Keith, that, that, uh, camera, that would do some pretty damn good video. If you were just recording video. Uh, oh yeah, that would do really good recording. If now some of the camera. Does he have a desktop? That's the other question. Because if he has a desktop, he can get a caption card, capture card and literally stream it to his computer. Well, see, it's a Canon, so I'm wondering if it has Wi-Fi built in. But I also know that there's things that you can you can get, like, attachments for, for those DSLRs that actually will give you an Ethernet port. Mm. So... Some some cameras you can do like a USB three connector that goes to another net port. So there's yeah. a couple of different things. There's a few different options. Um, Dave says I'll eventually work out hooking my camera to my PC and stream from that instead of using the onboard camera. It would do pretty damn good, that's for sure. If you use, um, if you have a way currently to get your image onto your computer um, from your camera, it's super easy in OBS to just uh browser capture or uh display capture it you wouldn't even need a capture card you just have to be able to get the image from your camera onto your your uh computer yeah so then you should be able to do it okay if it's wi-fi then you should be fine you just stream it straight to your computer. That I think you would probably need um, some type of an adapter, if not a capture card for it. Well, and uh, don't quote me on this, but I think there are some cameras that will actually have built in newer ones that have the ability to live stream to Facebook. Yeah, that's like possible too. That's true. You know, I, just a direct. Uh, yeah, I don't. I haven't really looked at cameras in a while, as far as what their capabilities, either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Oh, there's some there's some wild stuff. Keith needs to explain what OBS is. It's a open. Or who OBS is? <laughs> oh, it's open broadcast <laughs> software. It's just what I use. That's what you're looking at right now as I stream through OBS. Ooh, um, just confused the hell out of him. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh God, he goes the Best can... Buy. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> You're gonna go back to Best Buy and punch the guy in the face. Should do that no, anyway. <laughs> you should, literally not. I don't advocate violence, but if you just happen to meander into a Best Buy, just find the first person you find that works there and just go punch them. <laughs> they they deserve it one way or another, either with something they're doing with you or something they've done in the past, or something they're going to do in the future. You need to teach them a lesson. Um, what did the, what did the person at Best Buy do? Back to the Streamlabs. Yeah, Streamlabs um, is just, is just another model of OBS, basically. Yeah, Harris Heller's okay. Um, he's upbeat, a little too obsessed with his hair. I don't know why. That dude's got some issues, but he's got good information for the most part. Oh my god. He said service merchandise is closed. Yeah, my God, it's been closed forever. 
At least ours has. I used to like service merchandise, though. <laughs> you got a Radio Shack? I, oh, I personally I'm sad. loved Radio Shack. Yeah, so did I. Um. Oh, they sold you the camera. Well, I mean... Did when you say sold you the camera, did they do that razzmatazz like used car salesman thing? Like, you need this camera, camera right here. What you gonna do? You're gonna do some corpse and buy this camera right here. Do some I'm corpse best buy. <laughs> just, just, I mean, I, oh my god, I can't. Well, we've had numerous episodes, especially with Haunted Honeymooners, where I proclaim my absolute disgust with Best Buy. Service merchandise, I haven't heard that in forever, by the way. That's kind of funny. The other ones, um. Before before I my hatred of Best Buy, my hatred was mostly parsed out to Circuit City. You do not have a Radio Shack still. You're full of it. If that's what you're talking about. Radio Shacks are gone. They're, they are super gone because they are now Sprint stores. Anybody from the north got nobody beats the whiz. What? It's an electronic store. Oh. The Northeast thing. I was going like, I thought you were talking about like the Wiz, the movie. I don't know if they're in New Jersey, so I don't know if 13 would have known, but speaking of him, they're probably pretty busy right now getting ready for their uh, their whole unveiling soon, no? The Honeymooners? No, no. 13 skeletons. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I yawned for no particular reason. I missed half of that. Um, that does happen sorry. when you yawn. You miss half a conversation. <laughs> See, science knows Circuit City. The Circuit City we had here was just... Jesus. God. Ah. That's fine, though. You should... I mean... I remember. I like Circuit City. Like I like their store layout. It was cool. I don't know that I ever ever actually bought anything from a Circuit City though. I back in the day I did because it's one of the places that you if you needed something like computery you had to had to get it. We had a store. We still have a store here called Tech Advanced. Tech Advanced is like. Excuse me, it's the mom and pop version of a Best Buy store, and they're actually worse. Oh, God. I haven't been in Tech Advance here in 300 years because they're just they're horrendous. Oh, Danny got her first cell phone from Circuit City. Oh, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. I'm just kidding. Jeez. I'm just kidding. She's, well, she's on the licorice club with you, too. Yeah, I see you yeah, people that like licorice, man. I tell you, there's something about in you. In about five seconds, she's just going to say the word rude, period. Yep. Um, rude. Yeah, Sprint is now T-Mobile. Um, that whole that whole thing was interesting. Uh, Sprint buying Circuit City, uh, Sprint buying Radio Shack, and now Sprint went to hell, and now T-Mobile bought them. So I'd much prefer to have my Radio Shack stores back. Not, I mean, now you can just get a lot. I always went there for electronics, like LEDs and connectors and stuff. Um, I bought some uh, other things from there, and I was in the battery club. If anybody remembers the Radio Shack battery club. Um, but, um, yeah, Best Buy is still, Best Buy is still, see, there it is. Rude, period. Rude. Um, uh, yeah, but... God, I almost blocked Danny. Um, <laughs> that would have been yeah, really Best rude. Buy, that would have been. She, I had not heard the end of it. She'd have hired Lee to come and shank me. Um, so Keith is going to get a Samsung Galaxy A20. I think that's actually a pretty phenomenal phone. I've checked in on that myself. Um, yeah, Big Best Buy is still open. By the by the grace of whatever deity that they piss off every time they sell somebody something. I don't think anybody's doing Black Friday this year, from what I have heard. Nah. I think Black Friday's ended this year. Zach says he won a Pepsi can prize for hundred bucks when I was a kid and my mom bought all bought all of us kids toys. I got a pair of Zanny zappers. 
Zany zappers? Zany zappers. I thought it was the most awesome thing ever. Ha! Huh. I got a super expensive RC car from Radio Shack when I was a kid. I remember that. I would always buy clearance stuff. Um, I still have a few packs of LEDs that I bought when I was a teenager. Still, still sealed. Back when you could buy LEDs commercially in a store. Um, uh, yeah, I don't want no drunk text, Danny. I, I swear to God, <laughs> I will mute you all night. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, hey, I thought you said you weren't drunk tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Danny. What the hey? another video least lay you've got to go shank him d4 it's the end of the world by rem <laughs> uh oh there's lee totally done you're getting shanked that's what you oh, get for God. liking black licorice you go right ahead and hop on that electric scooter lee and let's see if you twirl <laughs> your ass down the road <laughs> by the way lee how's your head doing I am mildly concerned about your head. You've got a thick skull like me, so I know you're all right. That was a pretty gnarly uh, bang-up job you, got, you did there. I, Lee, I'm sorry. Whatever. Nobody cares. You probably are thinking I said it wrong because you cracked your skull open. I'm going to be mean to Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, I went, to, I went to Walmart today, and they didn't have the Hocus Pocus. Hey, you go to that Walmart a lot. Tell me when they get those, those uh, Toll House Hocus Pocus cookie things in. I'm sorry it still hurts. It looked pretty hellish, dude. Do that. You need to stop doing all I can't believe you got on an electric scooter when it was raining. And I know the day you did it, and it was raining pretty rough. So I can only feel sorry for you so long because you did it to yourself. you got to tell me when those Hocus Pocus cookies come out, Lee. You know about the Hocus Pocus cookies, right? Oh, you start a new job tomorrow. Sweet. Here in town, back in Gulf Breeze, or what? Well, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, if he wants us to, for sure. How is Lee so quick on the, the stream? He's like zero delay right now. I, all I know is she said yes on my two questions, so I don't know which it is. If she's here in town, oh, off by you. Okay. Another doctor's office? Yeah, she's probably got, I think she's got real good Wi-Fi. She's got a good phone too, probably. Good, it's me. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Put a lid on that one. I don't know. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah. If he wants it, we can do it Wednesday, probably. I don't think we have much going on Wednesday. Uh-oh. What? I've been private conversing with Lee over this thing. What are we doing Wednesday? I've never seen Hocus Pocus. What? See if you need to watch Hocus Pocus. Don't come back in this live stream until you've watched Hocus Pocus. <laughs> we'll ban you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Vic was saying we should put up one of Dave's videos. Um, Whoa, Danny, I know your phone's good. You have just all those devices looking at teeter pictures on Snapchat. That's what's causing your lag. Wait, what do you mean, Lee? I know, right? Lee. You got to tell me in those damn Hocus Pocus cookies come in Walmart. That's what I'm focusing on. All right, James. So what are we doing Wednesday night? What's going on? <laughs> uh, what have I, I missed? No, I was saying because the, they wanted me to put up one of Dave's videos. And uh, I, we're about done tonight. I want to get into that. Um, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Wednesday. I got you. Yeah. So make sure you share it on Wednesday. And uh, weight loss fail and future pro. Are are these um are these okay for like our normal Wednesday uh stuff or do I need to do I need to vet them first? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get shanked and get cookies. It's a good day. It might be. Well, bring me some black licorice while you're at it. If you're gonna shank. Oh him. my god! Throw the black licorice at him as hard as you can. Yeah, Lee, no, just if you if you happen to see them there, let me know. I'll go I'll go snag some. I went today and they weren't there. They also don't have any Halloween stuff like candy or nothing, so. 
Oh, Danny, you're not replaced. That's all good. You know, I'm playing with you. Let me laugh at that. There you go. He said it's past 9.30. Yes, uh -oh. Aaron. Okay. <laughs> well, Keith's were fine. Uh, well, yeah, Keith was fine. He didn't say anything bad. Not dirty. All right. All right, yeah, we'll do that one on Wednesday. We'll 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 just start off the stream with it. How long is it roughly? <laughs> I like the beginning of that one that you did though, Keith. <laughs> he goes to pull the handles off, which I know he completely set up, but it was very well done. He's like, "Son of a bitch." The handle fell off. Good night, Lee. Good night, Lee. Thanks hey, for good, stopping by. Good luck in the job, Lee. Take care of that head. 89 days, one night. hour, 20 minutes till Halloween. Woohoo! 89 days. No more late nights for Lee. Thank God. <laughs> I, can't get, I can't get shanked in the middle of the night now. Uh, under five minutes? All right, cool. I mean, it doesn't matter. I just was... Uh, if it was like 45 minutes, then you might have to do some skipping, but five minutes is fine. <laughs> Keith is a sinner. <laughs> have fun at your new job. I should be good at it. Hopefully, hopefully her head's not given to it. Man, I don't know if you saw the picture of her head, man. She, she got a big old lump on her head. Yeah, I did. It was ridiculous. Good God. Freaking scooters are dangerous. <laughs> we're all excited. I know six-year-olds should be super excited. I think we're all excited. You didn't set that up. That was hilarious, though. That was really well done, regardless. Your response was just good. Oh, there's the donut. Time to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, like, what is that? What is that symbol? I thought it was like a weird swimming pool. <laughs> Zach comes in with bats and and uh, skulls and leaves with chocolate frosted donuts. God, I want that too. So now I need barbecue stuff from Hungry Howies and Black Licorice and Hocus Pocus damn cookies <laughs> and, and donuts. I miss their crust, man. Howies was always on the, they were on top of the market with the flavored crust. Yes. What's weird is, uh, yeah, we're going to try to do a virtual party uh, somehow on Halloween or for Halloween or something. I mean, yeah, I it'll be before Halloween. Yeah. We'll have it'll details by September. Um, <laughs> Hungry Howie started when I was living in Gainesville, working in Gainesville. Um, that's how I, that was my beginning, my foray with Hungry Howie's. And I, I very much like Hungry Howie's. I still like Hungry Howie's. It is really good pizza. Shit, I'll probably get some tomorrow. We don't have them up here, which kind of sucks. Really? Nope. That's terrible. There's one like uh, in Virginia, I think, is closest. We don't have Publix or Hungry Howie's. I miss uh, Godfather's, which they're pretty much all gone. Uh-oh, I don't know what that means. I'm kind of scared to ask. A-R-O-U-S. A Roos. I don't know. How did we go an hour and 44 minutes on a freaking Sunday? That's been pretty much the norm. <sighs> um, but, but, um, mo more than likely, um, I liked Gainesville. It was an easy way to get to Central Florida and Miami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, we're actually going to have all of I our work, uh, haunts and stuff up on, on Halloween night. Yeah, um, um, live stream. James said, "I'm I'm gonna capture yeah, everybody's live stream and uh, everybody that's doing like trick or treating or whatever." Um, ooh, science, real quick. Um, thank you so much. Um, we try to keep it entertaining. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long. Um, it's always the fantastic banter from all of y'all that that make it this long, and we we love it. Um. And we would love to have you on. So 
give us a holler and let us know uh, what's a good time for you. Typically, we do this Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Fridays are our after dark. It's a little bit on the crazier side. But, um, yeah, man, uh, let us know. Uh, we would love to have you on. So I just want to throw that in before that slopped way up there. Uh, and then, yes, we're all going to be streaming live for Halloween night. But yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, totally. Oh, yeah. Rodent of unusual size. Yep. Right. Um, volume down low. You guys broadcast on top of it. All you would hear me saying is, yeet the treat. And kids going like, oh, my God, my eye. <laughs> All night long. Oh, my God, my, my skull. <laughs> you knocked out my parents i didn't mean to you should have caught the candy <laughs> <laughs> but uh maybe we can get with you guys for when we host our uh, halloween party sometime in the middle of halloween or uh, october i i just refer to october as halloween i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> but uh we'll get you back on here science yeah. we'll get you on before i mean science we'll get you on before. are you talking about science who are you talking about uh, well, Dave and, and, and honestly, anybody, I want to have as many people on camera or whatever for our Halloween party. Um, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yes, everybody should do it one way or another. Um, most definitely. I mean, by then we'll have Mark on walking around Disney swearing at all the trash cans or something. Um, Yay for Vic's little pink panties and <laughs> nightgown. Yeah, oh, I'm in. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, this is where we end the nights, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't be no pink panties from Vic. Uh, Lord have mercy. Um, Science's shows are on Sundays, Sunday, Wednesdays. At the time. Well, at least Friday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Science, we'll get you on Friday. Um, just send us a message, or we'll send you a message. We'll we'll get you on pretty soon. We'd love to have you. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much wigged out now with the little pink panties from Vic. So I guess we should want, <laughs> well, we don't start till nine. So, I mean, I imagine he's, he was here. So obviously his stream doesn't go more than two hours. I would imagine. So Sunday, as long as you're not like beat, we could do Sunday. I imagine Wednesday, you're probably still going to be on by nine, but I mean, you could always come on later. Yeah, we'll figure it. We'll all, we'll get together and figure it out. Uh, biggest thing is, yeah, we'd love to have you on here. Um, yeah, you so, yeah, said we'll, get we'll back with us, out. but I never got a message from you. So make sure you send us a message on here. Oh, sorry. and the thing too, science is we're not really 100% locked down on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, we can accommodate other days. Typically, we've done it before. We had to do it for me a couple weeks ago. So um, we'll get a, we'll we'll get a hold of you. Um, oh, yeah, Keith is already still racking on Jabby, and he's not even getting one of the calls. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> that clown has brought it upon himself. I'm sorry. Lord. Vic, man, it's no aggravation. Uh, we love it because uh, uh, we, we think it's just awesome, to, especially when we get all three of y'all on here. We're going to get all three of y'all on here on here uh, hopefully soon so we can all banter on a live stream. But um yeah, I knew I knew who you are. Um, that's how yeah, I knew who you. Are. But uh, I don't think I ever got a message from you, like on the Haunters page on on the message. Well, if not, we can reach out to both accounts just so we know we can bang a rang in and get you on here. So, um, just know that we'd love to get you on here. Um, wait a minute, send me some what? Who is sending what to the what now? Oh my God, that's not pink panties, is it? Um, yeah, that's what he he's sending him to Danny. Oh yeah! Oh, that's even worse. Um, Jabby made Danny start drinking. God, don't don't ever tell him that. <laughs> He's gonna make you do it every time. Yeah, he'll want to watch you or something. Uh, a weird thing. Um, no, Jabby's a hoot. We have to give Jab. Jabby's been with us for a while, and um, that's why he is our resident mafia clown. So, um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and wind it down. Um. Once again, uh, almost a two-hour show because y'all are awesome and we don't mind it. I mean, it's it goes by so quick now because it's just so crock and entertaining. Um, we will see y'all Wednesday night um, uh, for whatever's going on Wednesday night. Um, 
but yeah, we'll go ahead and wind it down for me. Thank you so much. Um, Y'all are super awesome. Uh, and I'm going to pass it over to James. <laughs> yep. Um, well, it was fun. Uh, we've been on for what, an hour and 50 minutes now. So uh, we appreciate everybody commenting. The, uh, the stream has been growing in popularity every week, which is awesome. Um, I'm glad you guys are somewhat entertained by the random crap we talk about. Uh, I mean, honestly, the majority of it is on you guys, though, because you guys make talking so much more fun and enjoyable. Yep. So uh, thank you guys again. And uh, we will be back on Wednesday with who knows what but uh <laughs> you, you always know it's going to be something entertaining for at least five to ten minutes and we're on for two hours so <laughs> which is awesome <laughs> uh but yeah everybody have a good night uh we'll see you guys on wednesday um don't forget to uh keep eating the treats and we will see you guys on wednesday night everybody be excellent to each other and ciao